Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the Tiger Secure 8 channel DVR security recording system. I purchased this system from Amazon. It cost around $100. This system supports 8 channels of high quality video. I only installed 4 of them. You can see here uh, I installed one channel for my front yard, one for my backyard, one for my garage, and one for my sitting room. This unit does not come with a pre-installed hard drive, so I also purchased a 3.5 inch, 1.5 terabytes of hard drive and installed into the system. So when I was purchasing the DVR system as well as the hard drive, I have the question of how much disk space should I purchase? Should I purchase a two terabytes? Should I purchase a one terabytes? If I want to record a seven days of security recording uh, with four channels, how much disk space should I uh, purchase? So today I make the video hoping to answer two questions. One, how to calculate the disk space required for the surveillance system for my specific requirement. Second, how to configure the video settings so that I can maximize my disk space for recording. Let's answer the first question, how to calculate the disk space. So to calculate the disk space, first you need to know how to uh, tell how much disk space has been used in your system. There are two ways to uh, tell that. The first is in the system information panel. From where you can uh, see the free end capacity of your disk, so with this number is a 1.2 terabytes free out of 1.4 terabytes of disk space. The second place is to go to the config menu and the HDD configurations where you can see the model, the status, and also the capacity and the free disk space. So out of 1.4 terabytes of disk space I have used one point I've used only 0 0.2 terabytes the free disk space is 1.2 terabytes so I've used the 0 0.2 terabytes and from the playback configuration I can be able to see with the highlighted red block blue rectangles I can see that I have recorded roughly two days of video. So that means uh, two days of video that occupies 0 .0 0 0.2 terabytes of disk space. That means my 1.4 ter terabytes of disk space can store roughly 14 days or two weeks of surveillance video. So the second question I, I want to answer is how to optimize your, uh, your video settings so that you can maximize your disk space for a uh, for longer period of uh, surveillance video. To change the recording parameters, you need to go to the config menu and the recording configurations. The video and the audio settings, from there you can see, uh, you can control the quality of each channel. So my current setting is low for channel one, which has the resolution of 9020 by 1080 with a frame rate of 10. Um, so I have, so the first four channels are all set to low. Um, so if you, 
the frame rate of 10 is good enough for a general purpose surveillance. But if you really want a high uh, fidelity surveillance recording, you can change it to high, which uh, does not change the resolution, but change the frame rate from 10 to 30. This uh, doubles the fr uh, bit rate from, from 2K to 4K. Okay, the median median is median setting is 20 frames. Okay, we'll go back to low. So by changing it to high, which is a higher resolution, uh, the higher frame rate, you will record less, you will have a higher bit rate, and with your disk, you will record less uh, days of video. This is the first setting. Uh, by changing the quality of your recording. The second setting is the schedule. There are two types of schedule. One is all recording and the one is uh, event recording. All recording is continuous recording and the event recording is only record when event happens. So at night when there is less activity you can set it to event uh, recording to save disk space. Okay. To change it, you can simply select the type and use your mouse to click on the schedule. It will automatically be changed. Okay. Remember to check the enable schedule checkbox. Without this being checked, the schedule will not take effect. Okay. After you setting Always remember to click the apply button and it will show the setup complete dialog box. Okay. Now uh, you know how to calculate uh, the disk space and how to optimize your video settings to maximize your disk usage. With my four channel a low resolution event recording uh, currently I can record two weeks of video on a 1.4 terabytes of disk space I hope this can help you answer your question of how much disk space to to purchase thank you